I actually was going to do Rant Wednesday, and I was just going to rant about the news and how stupid I think it is. But then when I got home, um, my Table Topics 70s edition arrived. So I thought that would be better. So I pulled out just a few. There's seven questions. I just, and I haven't even gone through all of them, so there might be better questions, but these are the ones I, I stopped, so I'd have something fun to do another time. So yeah, there's uh, seven questions, and feel free to play along. You know, I I am really a child of the 70s, so even if you weren't born in the 70s, if you were born later, some of these questions you could still answer. So feel free to apply them to your own time or whatever. Um, what is your favorite 70s TV theme song? See, that's, that's tough because as a kid, you know, I think, I don't know, there, you know, when you grow up, it obviously your developmental years and young preteens and whatnot, um, you look back on it with great fondness. And, and uh, if I grew up in the 80s, I'm sure I'd feel the same about all the 80s shows. But I thought that 70s TV shows were awesome. I have the door open. There's gnats flying everywhere. So it's it's hard to narrow down because there were so many good TV shows. Um, you know, I love Mary Tyler Moore. I, I just that song was kind of soothing, and you know, I don't know. But Bob Newhart. I mean, all those all the sitcom shows I really love the music too. So I I can't narrow it down. That's terrible. I know. And the same is true for which '70s shows did you watch every week? Because, um, well, back then they were just the shows. They weren't necessarily specifically '70s shows, but. You know, I think we all know what that means. I'm in a mood. Uh, yeah, so I watched a lot of television back then. And uh, I had to get most of my TV watching done in the summer because we weren't allowed to watch a lot of TV during the school year. It's like a bug flying around here. I'm sorry. We had to be in our room at 730. So we only got to see the first show, you know, the 30-minute show. Um but obviously I loved, you know, Happy Days. And again, Mary Tyler Moore, Bob Newhart, Rhoda. I mean, I could just, the, on and on, I loved all the shows. Uh, you know, even the shows that I, I couldn't watch because it was later, I would um, sneak out and uh, watch Quincy, um, you know, the best you could. Before my dad yelled at me to go back in the room. Uh, I don't know why I liked Quincy. I did. It was kind of a dumb show, but... It's no dumber than any of the shows today when you think about a medical examiner solving crimes. Really? It was kind of stupid then, it still is. But yet, I watched every week, and that's what you do. But, um, yeah, so really, it probably would be better to write down what TV shows did you not watch, because that's a much shorter list. So, anyway. I threw it out there for anyone else who wants to answer the questions. Did you ever sleep in a waterbed? I, I did sleep in a waterbed, but not in the 70s. My, uh, my college boyfriend had a waterbed. It, it was weird. It wasn't uncomfortable. It was just weird. I just, I never felt quite steady or secure or I, I, I that it wouldn't break. Although it was, you know, it never did as far as I know, spring a leak, but It was weird. And this one, I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say it anyway, even though I don't think it's really a fair question or even a question at all. Fonzie or Luke Skywalker? It's, it, there's, it's really, there's no comparison. How can you compare the two? But if I had to pick two characters, as much as I love love Star Wars, I think Fonzie's characters, it's a lot of fun and, you know, we got to know him over the years, except for when they jumped the shark, literally and figuratively. Uh, you know, he's very endearing because, you know, we got to really know him in a weird way. And although I love Luke Skywalker, don't get me wrong, because I'm all about Star Wars, but yeah, characters, I'm going to go with, with Fonzie. Um, 
Which was better, the original 70s Travolta or the comeback 90s Travolta? Well, 70s for sure. I loved them in Welcome Back, Cotter, and I'm not a Grease fan, but, you know, whatever. Uh, and, you know, Saturday Night Fever, that was okay. You know, it wasn't my thing necessarily, but, um, yeah, I'm not a John Travolta fan these days, but. Yeah, I'm definitely 70s. Well, this, this doesn't have to be 70s related. Anyone can answer whatever decade you were born in. What was your first record album? Um, I don't know if I if specifically remember the, the album, but it, it was one of the Partridge family. I know. It's true. So... I don't even remember which one it was, but it was one of them. That was one of my first ones, or my first one. How did you celebrate the U.S. Bicentennial? Uh, well, I know, I think we stayed at home. I don't think we went anywhere, but that summer, um, what I remember most about it was we had this local ice cream place, Ashburn's, and they had, it was just this little bitty tiny shop, and, uh, they came out with this red, white, and blue ice cream, and it was real creamy. I, it was just really good, and we would walk down to get it and walk back, eating it on the way back. And uh, I guess if you know, I don't, I don't really have a lot of memories of doing stuff with my dad that weren't, you know, involving the belt. <laughs> that were, you know, it was a good memory. So I, I think of that. He would walk us down to Ashburn's to get. The ice cream and we would walk back and uh, I remember that was nice and then I don't remember actually what we did for the 4th of July I think we just stayed home but, yeah so uh, just a few questions and then I'm gonna you know read some more so maybe another day I'll have um, more questions but yeah. so no no rant Wednesday today unless you want to rant about that there's no rant today which you can do, by the way, if you want. 